Progress tonight, 99% of Austin Energy customers have their power as we speak. Still about 3,400 customers are in the dark, and as more of them slowly come back online, for some, it comes with anxiety too. And that includes local businesses turning on the lights only to realize a dark reality. Lots of lost income. KXAN's Sahara Rahman spoke to one of those business owners today. Tahira. That's right, Jennifer and Daniel. You can see all the lights powering up Austin's skyline behind me, and it's a welcome sight for sure. But two businesses I spoke with today say they only just got power back today. And after nearly a week of being in the dark, it's something they'll be recovering from for some time. How much cleaning we're going to have to do? Walking into his restaurant freezer, Dalen Garcia faces the impact of the ice storm. From every shelf up is full of food. Now, shelf after shelf empty. After about a week without power, he says Curras Hyde Park has lost tens of thousands of dollars between lost food and lost profits. One night of, a, of an ice storm and then we're shut down for a week and nobody has answers. Another shock for the family business after COVID-19 and the February 2021 storm. It's sad and it's just, you, you see all these businesses struggling and it's kind of just wondering where, you know, is there an end in sight or is there going to be a solution ever? Good job, buddy. Star of Texas Veterinary Hospital is finally seeing patients again on Tuesday. Process of sending people home, um, having doctors take uh, telehealth visits over the phone just to kind of assess if we needed to direct any patients to another hospital. They had to reschedule hundreds of appointments, losing around $75,000 for the week they were shut down. So at that point, we really had to kind of scramble and come together and figure out which emergency hospitals did have power so that we can kind of triage and send patients there as needed. They're still dealing with a backlog. For Garcia, even though he's back online, customers are still offline for now as he cleans and restocks. It was a lot of joy and then like, OK, we got a lot of work to, to do now. Now we asked the city and the county if there's any help for these local businesses. We're still waiting to hear back from the city, but the county says on their end they don't have any money set up for local businesses at this time. In the meantime, Cura's owners have set up a GoFundMe page for their employees that haven't been able to work. It's set for $5,000 and the family says they plan to match that amount. You can find that at KXAN.com. Jennifer, Daniel.